Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, mouthing off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. Now, tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And coming back to the channel, Gabriel Henrique. But this time, it's actually to a cover of a song I actually really, really know really, really well. Uh, we're going to be reacting to his cover of I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith. Now, the original, I absolutely love. It's one of my top two or three favorite Aerosmith songs. And I would say maybe in my top 25 uh, songs all time so great stuff love the original I can actually pluck and see what he's gonna do and how he changes it up this that and the other uh, so yeah but uh, this request comes to or wait link to general video will be down in the description box for your willing pleasure at your leisure and this request comes to us by let's try not to butcher this name Lydia Ninas Chiamento Leandro. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. But no more going around. Let's check it out. All right, ghouls and ghosts. I don't want to miss a thing. Gabriel Henrique, cover by Aerosmith. Hey, he's got a sure microphone. I can stay awake just to hear you breathing. Watch your smile while you are sleeping. While you're far away and dreaming. I could spend my life in this sweet surrender. Very close to Steven. I could stay lost in this moment forever. Every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure. Living close to you, feeling your heart beating. Doing it over the track, so. And I wonder what you're dreaming. What that effort me you're seeing. Then I kiss your eyes and thank God we're together. And I just want to stay with you in this moment forever. The sweetest dream you never do I should miss you, baby And I don't want to miss me And I don't want to miss you one smile I don't want to miss one kiss I just want to be with you Right here with you Just like this I just want to hold you close I feel your heart so close to mine I just stay you hit this moment for your the last of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I feel like what I have to say in the review section is not necessarily going to make a lot of people happy. But I guess uh, I'm I, I, I'm going to be honest with, with everybody. I'm going to give my honest opinion of it, if you like it or not. Uh, but keep your personal attacks to yourself. See you there. All right, ghouls and Ghosts. That was Gabriel Henrique with his cover of Aerosmith, I Don't Wanna Miss a Thing. Link to original video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. And again, this request comes to us by Lydia Nina Skimiento Leandro. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. I don't want to go as far as to say that he butchered it. Look at the mask of my boy. Because that would be false. But I, I much prefer the original Aerosmith version. He had me all the way up until maybe about three quarters of the song. And then he started, I wouldn't say ad-libbing, but riffing a little bit, adding his own little flair. And I'm not, I'm, I'm first of perfectly fine with him adding flair, as long as it fits with the style of the song. And I don't necessarily think the way he was doing with his bravado, it didn't fit quite well with the style of the song. It's more of a love song, not, you know, not like in a very punchy or in your face kind of way. I felt like that the singing wasn't, he kept like spinning a longer yarn than it needed to be. And it didn't fit with the rhythm, the tone or anything like that in the song. So it just kind of felt out of place to me. Uh, vocally, I mean, he's as good as ever. Uh, I could tell though, that uh, maybe this is just the way I was hearing it. It was, I don't want to miss a thing. And he was just, I don't want to miss thing. I don't know if he missed it on purpose or he didn't uh, do it correctly. I don't know. Like I said, don't, don't, don't come at me with the, the, um, the flames and all that personally attack me. This is just, you know, my opinion. <coughs> 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 Uh, but when he would go into, and I, you know, I miss you, baby, and I don't want to miss a thing. You can hear his um, his Brazilian accent. And I thought it was quite nice to actually hear, you know, that accent in English. Because uh, I've done a couple English and I think one or two 
in Portuguese and his um, his natural mother tongue. And it's nice to hear some of that natural inclination of the Brazilian in the uh, American English. So that was quite nice. I have no problems with that. At a certain point, he did sound very, very close to Steven Tyler. And, you know, I'm not trying to say he should be one for one with the song. But at least, at least for me, again, this is my opinion. At least with the rhythm of the song and the way it's presented. Unless, you know, he would change the song structure a little bit to make it fit to me. When he, you know, I don't want to miss a thing. And the chorus of the song, it's just when he was riffing off of it, it just didn't fit for me. And it was quite obtuse and strange. It didn't quite sit well with me. And I, I have no, I have no, no qualms with him singing over the track. I know a lot of people do that. That's perfectly, perfectly fine. You know, you can hit your marks. You can hear the music as it goes to have a reference to the songs. I know, like when I sing karaoke sometimes, I like to have uh, sometimes like the backing vocals there just so I can hit the marks where I know they're coming. It kind of lets my, my mind know ahead of time. Okay, here's that mark, hit it. Here's that mark, hit it. Here's that mark, hit it. <sighs> now, the hardest part was... Score. I think this song deserves four skulls out of five. Absolutely happy with that score for all the reasons I just stated. Now, my 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 first gut reaction was to give it 3.5, but I was like, wait a minute, calm down. Look at it subjectively. How good or bad was it from the original to the cover? Take everything into account. And it's really not that bad. It really isn't. But as far as other things that he's done and the repertoire that he has, I felt like this one was a little shaky a little bit. And it did make me feel at certain points like and cringy. And there was one part where he like nails on a chalkboard, like screeched. And I was like, oh, I, I think I did it during the reaction. It wasn't, it wasn't intentional, but that's just my my gut reaction to it. So I've I've heard better from him. So that's why it got what it did. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared.